Diversity tonight in a Bucks County school district, and it all comes down to the first name that teachers can call students in class. Jenny, the district says it's about making sure parents are involved here, but opponents say it's discrimination. Well, that's right, Sheba, and it's all about uh, what a student's preferred name is versus what's in school records and whose decision that is. I've never heard anything like this in CB. In fact, we've gotten the exact opposite messages. CB West English teacher Rebecca Carty Herring says she's been with the district for 16 years. She says at a meeting on September 8th, the high school principal told teachers they're not allowed to use a student's preferred name if it's different than what's in the school's records without parental permission. There was a huge pause. I think most of us, most of my colleagues were like, what is going on? She says the principal then told them to make a list of names of students who asked to be called by a preferred name and send it down to the guidance counselor to coordinate a meeting with their parents. Carty Herring says that feels discriminatory against an already marginalized population of trans and gender diverse students. Particularly at Central Bucks, it feels like they're under assault. The school district says this is not a new policy. They issued a statement explaining that this is a sensitive issue and each situation is different. Additionally, parents have a right to be included, saying, quote, parents are stakeholders in these matters, too. So we do talk with students about the importance of including parents in decisions like these. We help prepare students for the conversations and help facilitate them to reach an agreed upon solution. Rye Ogden recently graduated from a different Bucks County school district and calls this directive scary. I think it's terrifying for me and at like every single LGBT person in the area that has been through high school and knows how hard it is if school is your only safe space. Carty Herring says teachers hear this. We've worked so hard to make these kids feel safe in our schools. We know they're a target of bullying. Carty Herring goes on to say that it is important that all students know that they are respected and loved by their teachers. The school district declined to speak with us on camera today. Jason. Jenny Joyce, thank you very much.